All right, morning folks, Raymond here from The Boat Shop. We're excited to show you a brand new boat from Vexus. This is the ACX 2150. So this is a center console fishing boat. We're not gonna call it a bay boat anymore because I feel like uh, it could be used for a lot more than just the bay. So if you wanna follow me, I'll go through the boat with you real quick. <clears throat> Up front, we've got this great big force trolling motor. Um, so for our crappie guys and bass guys, we can still use this in fresh water. Right here, we've got massive storage up front, a uh, good place for rain suits and what have you. You can tell how dry everything is, all big lips and gaskets like we know and love from Vexus. Um, the width of this front deck is absolutely immense. I'm six foot one, which means my wingspan is six foot one, and I can't touch sides. So that means we can install three across the front seating for our crappie guys or brim guys and have all the room in the world to turn around and not bump knees and what have you. So amazing front deck. The other thing that makes this an, an all species boat rather than just a center console bay boat is the rod boxes. These rod boxes can fit eight foot rods. I've tested them. Um, both sides, they're hundred percent dry. <coughs> We've got a great big lip right here as well as a gasket and compression lock latches. So totally, totally dry, just amazing stuff. Stepping on down, we don't have a great big step. We do have a graduate step. For the guys with knees that have got a few miles on them, we can do one, two down <coughs> and not have to worry about it. Right here, we have an ice chest. It's not the biggest in the world, but it'll get you by for a day or two. There's plenty room in the boat to put something else. Um, some of the other convenient stuff is cup holders up here on the front deck and tool holders. Um, we all know that when we get in a frenzy, you can't have too many plies on the boat. So really, really nice. <coughs> Coming back to the all new console. In the front, we've got a bait well which is really, really nice. Again, it's dry. It's not dry, it's, it's dry from the inside out, I should say. We've all had bait wells that if you run in rough water, they spill and, and you all of a sudden end up with water on the back of your leg. This is not gonna do that. <clears throat> Again, the basement of the boat on this one is really clean, something we're really proud of. For 2025, they're finishing the inside of that console and it looks stunning. Little compartment right here. Um, That'll, you know, store a wallet or a phone or your documents nice and dry and convenient. Coming further back, the, um, the seating position is something we really need to talk about in this boat. Very comfortable. We've got a steering wheel with a knob. We've got an easy to use tilt helm, which is really nice. I can see without having to dodge brackets and what have you. So very comfortable. A little kick bar right here for when we do have a long day. You can keep your feet up and again, super comfortable. If we're fishing with more than two people, we've got jump seats on both sides. Again, they're super comfortable with storage underneath that is truly dry, all fiberglass, and more cup holders and tool holders. Back here is a fiberglass insulated live well. So you'll be able to, if you are crappie fishing or, or fish the odd bass tournament, it's tournament ready. It'll keep fish alive for all day, all day at all. And then more seating on that side. <laughs> this is something we're super proud of too in the back of this boat is how much storage it has. Something that we get griped about a lot is, is center console boats don't have enough storage. Well, we've changed the mold on this one. There's plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Back here, this is really cool. So if we want to shine in here and look at those stringers, we can count three of them. There's one, two, three. This boat has nine of those across the transom. We could absolutely bolt this, boat, bolt this boat to a wall and jump up and down on the bow. It would not matter. It is tough as nails. They were able to get a 105 inch beam on this boat, but only because of their new four piece hull construction. Um, so there's a 316 keel, 125 gauge sheet of aluminum, another keel, and then another 125 gauge sheet of aluminum, making this boat absolutely massive. We're also able to get some of the pretty lines that you can see on this boat um, that we can't get out of the normal aluminum manufacturing process. I-beam aluminum trailer with brakes on, all, on both axles so you can pull it with a half ton, no issues at all. Boat buckles, we've got a hydraulic plate on this boat as well for the guys that want to run shallow. And again, a real boarding ladder. Something we never talk about is if we're gonna own this boat, we may wanna pull kids on a tube or something. Real boarding ladder makes a big difference. So, really neat boat. The color's a one-off thing from Vexus. It's called Hexvex. It's a patented camo. Um, it's camo enough to, to 
help out any hunter, but it's not so camo that your wife won't like it. Um, really, really well done. And so if you want to come check it out in person, come see us at 2410 Sanford Avenue in Shreveport, Louisiana, or check us out on the web at www.shreveportboatshop.com or at worst case scenario, give us a call 318-402-0399. We'd love to chat to you about it. Come and see us. Bye.